Good afternoon, YouTubers. No Gas Nico here, doing an update on my battery failure. Um, I was freaking out. You can tell if you haven't watched part one, go back and watch part one before you watch this. Uh, I'm going to show you the conclusion. Two parts, that's it, uh, because it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, so, what happened? You can see in the first video, my car just stopped. Got these errors. You can see the error right here. Was it going? Was it going? I'm freaking out. So I got it home, did some testing, found out the 12 volt battery was low. The car's about two years old. It's probably premature, but I went ahead and bought another battery. Didn't want to take it to the Nissan dealership because it was 40 miles away. Uh, I didn't want to be stuck doing 25 miles an hour driving 40 miles. I can change a 12 volt battery. It's not a big deal. So I did that. And uh, seemed to clear all the codes. All the codes cleared. The car seemed to drive fine. Uh, and about two days later, that EV ser service EV system popped up again. Car went back into turtle mode, 25 miles an hour. I'm freaking out because I'm like, wait a minute. I just replaced the battery. The battery should be good. So I went home. I disconnected the battery, put it on a battery charger, the new battery on a battery charger, and let it charge all the way up. It wasn't completely full. So I went ahead and charged it all the way up. And then I still had my appointment at the dealership because I, I didn't know what's going on. These cars are so sophisticated. I wanted the dealership to give me a clean bill of health. So last Tuesday, this is Friday now, Tuesday I took it in the dealership. I uh, dropped it off in the morning for a Wednesday appointment. It's no big deal, I just took it a day early. Uh, they called me and said everything was done and asked me if I wanted any other maintenance stuff. And I was like, I went ahead and did the maintenance stuff, transmission flush and stuff like that. Some people argue it doesn't have a transmission, it's a gearbox. Look up the definition of transmission. You'll see that it, it transfers the power from the engine to the tires. So even if it's a gearbox, it's still considered by definition a transmission. So anyway, did a fluid flush on the gearbox slash transmission. And I had to replace the, you know, do a brake fluid flush too. Probably didn't need it, but did it anyway. So anyway, all said and done, they did that. I asked them about the air codes I got in the turtle mode and they said it was probably a low battery that I got brand new and it threw a code before the battery could be fully charged obviously I fully charged it now I've been driving it since the car's fine now uh, rides fine so um, title of my video battery failure absolutely correct but it is a 12 volt battery failure not the high voltage battery Thankfully, it's all covered under warranty, so I wouldn't have cared anyway when I got a new battery. But here I am uh, I'm in my EV, driving down the road. I'm heading to the gym. Uh, I want to get a good workout in. And now I don't have any worries. My car's driving fine, and we're back in business. So that's it. Uh, I don't know if anybody was expecting to hear a different or maybe you're going through the same situation with your Nissan Leaf. Uh, my only suggestion would be when you buy a new battery uh, from the store and put it in yourself, throw that thing on a trickle charger, make sure it's fully charged before you install it in your car. Uh, I will do that from now on. Uh, I learned a valuable lesson here because I spent an extra couple hundred dollar diagnostic fee at the dealership for them to tell me there's nothing wrong. So. Take that advice, put it on a trickle charger, put it in your car, reset the codes. If you still want to go to the dealership just to give you a peace of mind, like I did, then you know go ahead and pay that extra money and have them give you a clean bill of health. So that's it for now. That's the update. That's also will conclude this series of uh, battery failure. Uh, had it been the high voltage battery, obviously there would have been more parts, but this is it. I may have overreacted but hey it's a learning curve with these vehicles all right so if you haven't yet subscribe to this channel click the notification bell um there's some great new things coming out i'm gonna do another uh, ev news coming up that's going to discuss some of the new evs on the market including dodge they're shaking it up like they normally do all right that's all for now thanks and god bless